What's up everybody, it's Andy here from secrets to trading 101.com and in today's video we will be covering some NFT market analysis and we'll be going through some of the new projects that I'm involved in. So firstly I want to apologize, we've been a bit absent from the channel recently, it's not because we don't love you guys, it's because we've been working on a lot of stuff within the agency and we're building out secrets to trading 101 to offer loads of facilities for crypto, for NFT, for free, free training, for ebooks, there's a lot of brilliant, brilliant alpha coming in the next few weeks and months. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so firstly guys, we're going to be looking at the analytics of OpenSea. Now, I don't know if you guys, like I say, where, where you are in your NFT journey, whether you got way back in, in in May, June, or whether you kind of bought into the to the bull run hype in, in like September, October. Um, but you'll see here, we, we kind of level where we're up to. January's always kind of, uh, you'd think January would be a quiet month, everybody's not got much money after Christmas, but it was a record high in the NFT space. And then you'll see February, we're seeing a kind of dip now. And what happens with these dips? With the NFTs, those of you familiar with trading and, and bull markets and bear markets, we're very much in this kind of bear market or an approach in a bear market and a correction within the NFT space. Now, some people may disagree, but that, that's up to you guys. I'm just showing you what I see and, and my background within cryptocurrency trading, Forex trading, and see how that comes onto NFTs. Now, what we, ha what we have with NFTs is we have like a, a two to four week kind of micro cycle, kind of up, down, up, down. And it, it does that. It stays, it stays consistent. It consolidates. It goes up. It goes down. Obviously, all this NFTs, the vast majority of them are based on the Ethereum network. So then obviously the price of Ethereum goes up, people take money and profits. Price of Ethereum goes down, people hold on to NFTs or they put it into USDC or stuff like that. And we'll go into that in a moment in this video. So we'll see here that in January, so we had, we had December here. Um, and then in January, we've had a drop. So a massive run up to Christmas and drop. And in February, I think if we look here for February, we're, we're, we're kind of down where we need to be. I think we're going to come in round about this mark that we've seen back in December. So you can see it, we're overdue a correction, guys, basically. Um, and you might, I don't want you freaking out. I don't want you to think, oh, I've got all my money in NFTs and there's no one, like, none of that. We'll talk about that in Ethereum price and, and basically what I would do. And as usual, guys, this isn't financial advice. Please do your home, homework and due diligence. Obviously, this is just my take on what I see within the market. So please do your own homework before you follow or before you take everything I say with gospel, okay? So with that being said, um, OpenSea, quite a month. Um, obviously, February is a smaller month. We're on the 17th as the day recording this video. I reckon we'll probably come in around about this, this mark, around about where we was at Christmas, Christmas Day, something like that. Maybe a bit higher. Um, but yeah, we're very much overdue a correction, is, is what I'm saying. And if we jump onto Ethereum, so let me just clear out my drawings with Ethereum. Okay, so this is Ethereum on the daily, yeah? So those of you who want to know all about this and my setup on TradingView, just put a link, um, put a comment in the comments box below and I'll let you know. But basically, I use TradingView Pro. I use this for my Forex trading and commodities trading as well. I don't trade stocks, can't be bothered listening to the news much. I just get in and out of the major seven pairs of currencies. I trade silver, I trade gold, oil, and then I look at US 30, SPX 500, and NAS. That's about it. I don't want to try and overcomplicate it because the moves are there, and I just scalp and a day trade on that as well as crypto. Now, we can see here, back in November, we had our high at 4,700, 4,800. So we can draw a horizontal line in here. Okay, and then you can see we had our bottom recently, around about January, our new bottom, which if we put that in here, is created kind of solid bottom at 2400, yeah? So you can see here now, if I just scroll over a bit here, let me just hide um, some of these. So you notice guys, well, we've got a brand new setup here. I'm gonna send you some pictures and stuff, but this is just to make the videos better, to make the teaching better, what we've got planned for secrets for trading better. Better webcam, better lighting, we're gonna better microphone and stuff. So yeah, we're just trying to do this to make it as good and as professional as we can for you guys. So you can see here, we look at the stock RSI, it's kind of undecided where it wants to go. We can see here since 28th of Jan, it's made a run back up. Um, it's running out of steam. 
So I, I see we're gonna I see we're starting to turn on the two dailies. And if you look here, we, we hit the bottom here in the 27th of January. We then had a, a higher low and a higher high. So that will show that we're changing in direction. And obviously we're going back up to a bear. But what you see is we broke through this 20 day, had a go, broke through the 50 day, um, tried to hit the 200 day. And you'll see we bounced off the 200 day, back down to the 20 day, had another run up and we've rejected it again. And a solid rejection here now. So... This is your support and your resistance lines. So those of you who who are sat on NFTs, um, take some skin out of the game. You know what I mean? It's we're we're overdue a bear market. Um, it looks like Ethereum is going to go a bit lower. Or it's going to consolidate around here for a while. Obviously, you got other food in the in the news, which will will take will keep the price and suppress the price. Take some profit out if you've got. If you're not, if you're down on some NFTs, try and at least get what you put into them out um and then obviously if you don't know about our strategies and the rule of three it's in a previous video go back and watch that in a video or i'll put a link actually in the comment in the description for that video go check it out it really works well for us it does help us save a lot of money as well so i reckon we're gonna come back down here probably to about the 2700 2800 mark um Hopefully we hold that, but you can see there's not much volume in the buying cells here. So if we break past here, we we're probably going to come back down to about 2,600. Um, so those of you, obviously, we, we've we've tried twice, we tried three times now to break this 200-day moving average. We've not done it, um, and that's going since the 16th of January. All indications, again, it's telling me that it's a sell. It's neutral on here. Mm, my spidey senses are tingling. I'm thinking it's it's going to go down to about 2,600, maybe 2,400. So take some profit if you can, guys. So that's with Ethereum as well. Now, OpenSea. So we talked about this this potential bear market, and we can see the last seven days. We can see Carafuru still doing it. Crypto Punks, Cool Pets is, has has done a good run up recently. Tasty Bones, a lot of hype around Tasty Bones. Um, what else we got? NFT Worlds, Kuhlman's Universe, that's still pumping. Um, so yeah, but if we if we go to like the the, the proper rankings outside the top fifteen, is over the last couple of weeks I've got into quite a lot of these projects, and a lot of them, I'll be honest, a lot of them are extremely hyped, and it works. The FOMO is real with everybody in NFTs, and a lot of people will FOMO in and fud out. Um, so what they'll do is they'll FOMO in, they'll buy it in maybe at the top. And they're left holding the bag. It's the same as like buying low, selling high, uh, buying high, selling low in, in trading. Same, the same mechanics behind it. So if you understand forex trading and cryptocurrency trading, NFTs is, is a breeze. So yeah, very, um, very frustrating time I think at the moment. I mean, there's still money to be made in NFTs, but unless you get into new projects at whitelist and you're able to two x, three x on mint, or you're getting into these hype projects again, like these pump and dumps. I think that's where where a lot of people are a bit skeptical at the moment because we've just had too many of them to mention, and I don't want to call people out, but there's just too many. We've got ten or twelve projects launching every single day, and a lot of these are hype, 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 hype. Price gets up, dumped, rug pull, gone, um, and it's yeah, it just seems to be it seems to be the, a bit of a common practice now, um, and all these blue chips we want to we want to invest in some of these, but while there's a bear market or while we're looking at a correction. I personally would suggest taking some money out in Ethereum. Either if Ethereum's going to drop as well, <coughs> whack it into USDC, whack it into Great British Pounds, hold it, buy Ethereum at a low, buy some of these blue chips on the floor, um, and then ride them back up. That's that's what I'm going to do. So I'm sat on my hands at the moment, I'm kind of not really getting into any projects. Having said that, there are three projects that have got me stoked, and I want to cover them now. So... The first one is Goonies. If you're not familiar with Goonies Gang, guys, go check it out. Links in the description below for Goonies Gang. Um, it's been out for a while. Like I said, really good trading volume. Only 8,800 of them. Um, floor is still quite low on them if we look at the activity. Really cool 3D art. Um, like, guys, do your own due diligence on these as well. Like I say it's been out since the six. It's it's see how it's consolidating. A lot of these a lot of these projects are showing the same picture at the moment. So you can see there's still quite a lot of trade volume. We do normally say minutes and hours, not hours and days, but 
the, the, the sales are there, guys. And if we come over to the website real quickly, it's just cool, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just really, really cool website. Really, really well done. Um, roadmap. Um, let's say the guys behind it, it's Sebastian Giorgio, um, Kosher Plug, Bento Boy, all really good YouTubers in their own right, all really good um, guys just spreading out for about NFTs, really good, really good project, um, Brent as well, um, I just look at how cool it is, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to get into this one I think, um, I didn't get into it because I've been busy with the agency and doing other stuff, but Definitely want to get into it. Really good roadmap. Really, really good clean. Check that out. Links in the description for that one. Um, another one I want to talk about, which is, is, I'm not going to say it's hyped under the radar, but it's kind of, if you know, you know, is one called Squareburs. So Squareburs is, let's just, this is the Discord for Squareburs. Really good 3D art. Um, 8,888 seems to be the new 10,000 for a lot of these projects. Now, um, mint price reasonable at 0.13. Pre-sale is February 20th. After sale is February 21st. So it's coming up this weekend, guys. Um, full disclosure, not on the white list. Um, again, because I've just been too busy. Bit bit annoyed that I've not done I've not done my um, things to get on the white list. Square Bears, if you're listening, hook your boy up Andy with some white list spots. If not, I'm going to try and grab some of these on mint or try and get um, a white list spot before um pre-sale so again if you go look at the official links for these and check this out in your own time guys um if we'll have a quick look on the website so yeah it's really really cool um so it's in sort of retroverse collections i just i think again it's another cool one launch on discord so again links in the description for all of these guys check them out yourselves Team as well, really good team, really good team behind it, really good artists behind it. Um, guy, 3D artist who's worked on Warner Brothers and films. So this is it with NFTs now. Some of them, some of these other ones are like hyped pump and dumps, rug pulls. The ones check, the ones that are doxed, the ones that are actually doing themselves, the ones that don't have fake Twitter followers, fake Instagram followers, the ones that have bots on their Discord channel to verify that you're a real human, the ones that have good positive interaction, they're the ones that you want to be getting in on. And we will do another video probably tomorrow about what, what to do and what not to do and how to make sure that the projects that you're getting into are good and early and obviously you can get in and get out. So pure alpha on that, we're going to be dropping that tomorrow. So Squareburs is another one you guys should definitely go and check out. It's minting this weekend. And lastly, um, I've had the privilege of working with this guy personally um, on spiritual development, um, just helped me a lot over the last two years, is a guy called Master Shia Kashner. Those who don't know Master Shia Kashner, he's, a, he's basically a spiritual guru, yoga instructor, um, entrepreneur. He's got over 3 million following. Um, 1.6 million of them are coming from... YouTube alone so again links in the description but he's created a few of these NFTs and he's done a lot of first in this space now one of them briefly that's still now open is the super creators assemble now these are um, really cool characters that he drew personally um, there's um, the floor price on these now I think are around about 2 ETH 2.2 ETH let's just have a quick look on these so guys yeah so this one is super creators it's by IAC okay so that's I am creator that's Master Shia Cash and his company and you can see the floor price it's it's really good there's only two there's 2200 829 owners the reason behind that you have a male and a female per and obviously you can mint babies that's coming soon as well floor place is holding at 2.18 a bit of an odd amount but it was up to about 3.2 if we have a quick look at the activity you can see we had a nice kind of slow run up here to about 3, 3.2, 3.7 at the high. A bit of a drop here. And then obviously it's making a kind of run up now, but it's consistent sales, consistent trading. So yeah, check that out. But he's actually had um, a first, I would say, within the, within the NFT space is one called Woman Unite. The Woman Unite is women of the, it's, it's kind of different women who work for Master Shia Kashna. And they're all from different ethnic um, backgrounds, different countries. And there's only 224 of this Genesis model. And again, floor price holding really, really well. It's real human 
NFT art. So they've took like tens of thousands of images to create a real NFT art. And I think that's the first and they continue to do that and they will get noticed for that. So you can see this is the type of art um, and they're running here. The silver pass is a really good um, pass. What it does, it allows you free mints for every single future project that they do. So obviously you just pay the gas fees. And this is what I wanted to cover finally is because they're launching a brand new NFT and it's dropping on the 22nd of February, 2022, which is a divine number if you guys are into numenology. But yeah, if you hold a silver pass, you'll be able to mint one of this new collection for free. If not, then there will be, <coughs> excuse me, there will be another video nearer the time, probably this weekend or on Monday. I will tell you a bit more about this stealth drop, what's involved in it, how you can get involved, how you can mint it, what price will the mint will be as well. <coughs> excuse me. So check that out. Um, it is going to be launching on the 22nd of February. When I know what it is, you guys will know what it is as well. So if you want to be kept up to date on the new drop and what's happening with Master Sheer Cash News NFTs, then all you need to do is check on the links in the descriptions below and you come over to your Discord and it is called Super Creators here. And then they've obviously got the main one for the Super Creators and then they've got different chats for the different NFTs. So you've got Super Creators General Chat, Paid Access if you're an NFT, you've got Competitions, Giveaways, Women Unite is what I've just shown you. Um, you have crypto talk, alpha talk, NFT talks. I actually talk in there and go on the voice channel as well and help help teach everybody about NFTs. And then you've got obviously spirituality and stuff as well. And then there's international talks. So links for all of these for Goonies, for Square Bears, and for Master Sheer Cashner's NFT drops, all in links below. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. We will be more consistent on these videos going forward. Um, everything that we've done for the past three weeks is to help you guys immensely in in the next few months, next years, and the whole of the NFT space. So yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. We'll be covering a video talking about what not to do and how to get into NFTs, what to look out for, um, and our strategies behind what we do to get on whitelists and obviously how to get in and get out and get profit. So yeah, bye for now, guys.